hey, I think this use case is really powerful. So do you have any departments who will need to control the quality of your output, of your documents? Probably you have. And, you know, it can apply to marketing content, to HR content, to sales, whatever department will need eventually, especially when you're sharing information outside your organization, you will need to check if some documents are respecting some guidelines or some rules some policies whatever it is so here you know this scenario where you can control a document against another here i'm going to show you an example um, so i have a few scope of work here and i have i listed a requirements for a scope of work and just i make it i made it simple but here's the list of requirements. So the social, uh, the scope of work should have a date, at least two writers, an executive summary, a list of deliverables, etc., etc. So you can put your own rules in a document and use it, you know, to gauge documents against this one. So I'm gonna gauge, for example, the use case scope of work. So, and I'm gonna use a prompt that I already made. Hopefully, it's in my clipboard here so does this file respect all requi requirement in this file basically that's the main prompt if not explain why create a table of what is compliant and what is not with the first column being the requirement the second being the status of compliance the third an explanation why it is or not compliant but uh, put in bold the lines are not compliant you eventually you can add whatever you want the format you want here i just i think the most important thing is does this file respect all requirements in this file so now i need just to type the file here so does this file was the use case a scope of work respect respect the requirement document so i'm going to type requirement and i just have to launch my prompt so as you can imagine it's very powerful because you don't have to read all over the document and you can just you know by using this prompt have a list of what is compliant and what is not so apparently that it didn't put in bold my my uh line where it's not compliant but at least it tells me you know the the date okay the no two, there's no two writers there's an executive summary okay there's no period of performance um there's no assumption paragraph so it's pretty powerful because then i can go back to my to my file and you know see if it's and and modify it and you know you better check you know sometimes it, it can make mistakes but it can help you really quickly to figure out what is not compliant or not and you can use this scenario for various type of documents in legal obviously but in any other areas where you want to be sure or at least to have a sense of how compliant this document is based on your rules so the effort here is for each of your departments is to understand the corpus of documents that you're sharing externally or, or that needs some compliant uh, compliant reviews and build those rules in simple terms so it can be injected in copilot and then you can ask people to check or if there's a manager who has to check you can check it very quickly instead of having to read everything which probably um, is time consuming and probably because it's time consuming and managers don't have the time nobody is going to review it and so it ends with a poor quality poor compliance and sometimes it triggers some issues hope this scenario's use case was insightful